Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're having an issue with Windows not being able to open any programs. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu, type in CMD, best result should come back with command prompt. Right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in SFC, followed by a space, forward slash scan now. Scan now should be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Now, if you're unable to run this program in the normal Windows operating environment, you can run it from the recovery options as well. So if you want to go boot off of your media creation utility from Windows 11 and launch troubleshooting options, you can. And you can also boot into safe mode, which you're welcome to view a video on my channel about how to boot into safe mode on Windows 11. And then try and run this utility from safe mode. So again, that's something else I would strongly recommend you guys check out. Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and type in CHK, DSK, and hit enter. All right, so you see it didn't find any problems, which is good. Um, if you had to, you could run check this again and then just type a space forward slash R at the end. So again, that's something else you can try here. Also close out of here, open up the File Explorer icon, select this PC on the left side, and then right click on your drive where Windows is installed and select Properties. Select the Tools tab and then select Error Checking. This option will check the drive for file system errors. Go ahead and select Check and then select scan drive. Once you're done with that, close out of all of this and restart your computer. And hopefully I was able to resolve the problem. Something else you can try here as well would be to open up the registry editor. So if you open up the star menu search, type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result should come back a registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now I would suggest creating a backup of the registry before you do anything. So select the file tab and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you'd have to do is select file and then import. So again, pretty straightforward process. And now we're ready to begin. So we're gonna start off by double clicking on the HK classes root folder. And then do the same thing for the .exe file. So go down to .exe. 
On the right side, there should be something that says default. Go ahead and double click on it. And make sure it says exe file. No spaces in between any of the words here. So again, exe file, all lowercase. Select OK. Again, that's if you had to make any changes here, of course. And once you're done with that, you can just close out of here. What's to just restart your computer once again? And there you go, guys. Hopefully that was able to resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.